Hello again my friends, welcome back to part 2 of this uh, trip uh, from Ternopil in Ukraine to uh, Praha in the Czech Republic. Uh, we ended uh, part 1 here on this uh, parking space uh, somewhere in Poland. Uh, we ran out of uh, driving time so it was time to take a rest and uh, I also wanted to uh, fill up some diesel but I didn't know where I had the nearest gas station and since it was really time to, to uh, take a break I took it when I, uh, I got the chance but I see here that we have a gas station here uh, somewhere so we will stop there and fill up some diesel we have almost we have driven approximately half the half the way on this journey uh, and uh, in somewhere around 29 minutes or so, uh, 27, we will uh, reach our destination, hopefully, if everything goes as planned. Then we will be in uh, the capital of the uh, Czech Republic, uh, Praha. And, uh, yeah, that is all I know now. I checked the cargo list uh, before we uh, went on here. And there are a lot of good cargos in, uh, in Bra, so uh, it won't be any difficulty to find a suitable, suitable uh, cargo to take. The last uh, video, uh, the part one, and this part two has been quite long, and uh, actually I don't want to make that long video, so uh, hopefully the next will be shorter, as uh, usual, or as normal is probably <coughs> more right to say. And here we have a pay station, so. I will see if I learn my lesson from the last pay station where I didn't go uh, close enough to the gate. Let's push the pay button there and yeah, as soon as I got close enough it went well, so lesson learned as I said. So. Um, it's very early in the morning and we will hopefully be in Praha, Praha uh, close to lunch somewhere and I hope that you will uh, come with me all the way please uh, do and uh, Enjoy the ride.
take a look at that uh, commercial si uh, sign, the right there. It's actually fascinating how the game evolves. Uh, I have I have not played uh, Euro Truck Simulator from the beginning, but I have seen videos of it and uh, how it was in the beginning and if you look at it from then till now it's absolutely amazing how they have uh, developed and created things now you have uh, moving commercial screens and everything like that in the beginning you only had uh, well, you didn't have any commercial screens, I guess. And uh, it was very simple, everything. Even if it then was uh, one of the... One of the best... If you ask me, it's still one of the best uh, uh, driving simulators. But then it was... Uh, then it was absolutely pioneering if I can say uh, use that word uh, and uh, yeah it's uh, very nice to see that it still develops and that so many people put efforts to uh, to uh, make it great uh, that's uh, that's amazing Yeah, yet another pay station here, and uh, we'll just pay and look happy and uh, drive on. So uh, stick with me.
if you look ahead you can see the border between Poland and the Czech Republic and we are crossing that border right now there are no needs need to um, check papers or anything like that it's just to drive on and um, yeah so now we are in the Czech Republic and hopefully it will not be long before we reach uh, our destination in Praha
So, my friends, we have reached Prague. As I've said before, and as you already know, the capital of uh, the Czech Republic. It was also the capital of uh, former Czechoslovakia. But now it's the capital of the Czech Republic. Since they split the country in two. Uh, we will unload this cargo at the Lidl store if we can find it but if we can't the GPS will probably do it for us and, uh, yeah we have hopefully time to uh, pick up one load one more load before it's time to take a break but I will look into that as soon as we are ready with this trip or this delivery is more rightful to say the Volvo engine and the Volvo engine sound uh, is uh, why does he stop here? This is also one of these uh, interesting things when it comes to the drivers in the game, the AI drivers. Did he do that just to uh, upset me, or did he do it in any other purpose? I don't know. You can see some of the landmarks in uh, Praha there. Uh, as I said, the Volvo engine in this OHA uh, version and uh, the sound mod is working perfectly fine together. And if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just uh, trying to <laughs> look out the window. But I didn't uh, in front of me, but I didn't see that much, so. Uh, <coughs> it's better to to uh, look out on the side windows. This open track head tracker. Oh, here we have the little store. This open track head tracker is definitely something that I recommend everyone to uh, try out if you haven't tried it, because it's it makes the driving uh, more both more realistic and uh, very uh, very uh, uh, fun well fun is yeah it's it's fun too but uh, realistic and uh, convenient we could have taken the harder parking spot here on my left side uh, down in that uh, pit there but uh, since it was just 15 experience points uh, less to take this uh, easy one I chose the easy one so this my friend is uh, the end of part two in my journey from Ternopil in Ukraine to Czech Republic and the capital Praha. Uh, it's my first, uh, my first uh, split journey in to uh, two parts, and I hope that you uh, will. Uh, check out both parts uh, oops what do I do here this should be uh, an easy parking <coughs> if I will uh, do uh, separate parts of the of, uh, one journey like this again 
probably if I need to go far but uh, well I don't know perhaps maybe thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to keep updated and uh, leave a comment if you have any perhaps hit the like button too from Lidl in Praha hope to see you soon take care bye bye